folks, I'm Barry the Beer Guy from iBuyOldBeer.com and today we're going to be looking at probably over a hundred year old Schmidt case that was found in the basement of a home on West 7th Street. This case was a paint over, probably taken from another brewery and you can see they gave it a, uh, a paint over and a re-stencil. You want to know what's really cool about this? Check out, where is it, this tag here. Look at that, kindly notify us when the case is empty and the driver can pick it up. Jacob Schmidt Brewing Company. What's really cool is these porcelain stoppers and they've got a rubber gasket or steel seal around them. A lot of times these porcelain stoppers are found uh, rusted off bottles if you find them in a dump. But you see that one? No logo. That one's actually from the G. Heileman Company in La Crosse, Wisconsin, and brewers in these days would reuse bottles. It didn't, they tried to get their own bottles back, but very often people put whatever bottle was consumed in these cases. What should you do with a case like this? Well, one thing we're going to want to do is use some fine steel wool on the bands. You can see the rust there. We're not going to remove that, but we'll, we'll reduce it. And you can see there's probably a new board put on the bottom of these. A lot of times they were left in moist basements and uh, the bottoms rotted out of them. Uh, these, as you can see, there's no hinges here. So this would have had a cardboard cover branded with Jacob Schmidt to uh, prevent against light spoilage or the skunking of beer. What we're going to do is kind of refurbish and clean this case up. As you can see, these have sat in the basement. They were found in a crawl space. and. Uh, we owe it to these uh, to be cleaned up. What we're going to do here is just soak these bottles inside and out. And I think there's even one with a little bit of beer in it. Yum, huh? Soy sauce. But uh, these will benefit from a good soaking. If we need to, we'll get aggressive with some CLR. And we're just going to use a magic eraser. And very gently, you got to be careful around the indicia. That's the uh, logo and the writing on the case because that will wash off, but this needs a good bath after a hundred years. See the difference that a magic eraser will do here? You can get these at the dollar store and they're worth every penny, but look at that grime come off. Okay folks, here's our box post cleaning. Looks pretty good. We're still gonna put a little steel wool on the bands and then WD-40, reduce that rust. We've taken out the inserts, and then, crazy enough, some of these bottles even had carbonation with the one inch or two inches of beer in them. We filled them all with water. We might throw a few BBs in there, and that acts as an abrasive to shake it, but the bottles, at least on the outside, are clean. We're working on the inside now.